was a uh, shop towel in the gas tank of this vehicle uh, that, that we, the fire department tells us, was soaked in solvent. Looks like an attempt to uh, to set the vehicle on fire. The fire department took that to, for an analysis. You can see where we something was burned here. You see the bottom of the doors. Um, oil dumped on the floor. Um, not sure what the motivation was, but but it would, anything that could be poured out, dumped out, pulled out, thrown on the floor, uh, pretty well was. It's our belief that he broke in through this door. This was the door that officers found broken when they first arrived. He, he entered the building and at some point in time after that dialed 911 and hung up. Uh, officers responded. They were speaking to him through this door, as we are told, and, and they heard what they thought were the sounds of a of a gun being cocked. At that point, they backed off and, and brought in uh, other units, and, and our, our standoff ensued. Right now, we've got um, several different contractors here uh, doing cleanup in the building, uh, trying to remove all of the uh, contaminated materials that were contaminated by the, the, the tear gas that was put in the building to, to help get him to come out. The equipment you see around us are air scrubbers. I think you can feel in your eyes, you can feel the, the chemical spill in the building. Uh, you know, that's probably the worst part of it, is being able to get the, the chemicals out of the building. You know, really like a tornado had come through the building. I mean, it, it literally, there wasn't very, there was very little of the building that was unscathed. Obviously, with, with the amount of damage that we had and, and, and the process we're having to go through to repair it, we've had to make a few changes in, in, uh, in our business to be open, but we are open.